Hello guys! Today we are going to see something which is very very cool and that is going to be how to play this game online. And yes, we are talking about Dune 2000. And you know, I made about two uh, tutorials about how to play this online, but those are pretty outdated now. And why I'm saying that? Just because uh we got some uh, pre new new stuff there we got our own internet server so now we're now no no longer using lan to play we're using internet the internet uh option in uh, the multiplayer menu inside dune and the server is um, what i can say about it it's pretty much a lot more stable than uh, lan it's also doing a better job when it comes to connections and connecting people um, it also supports six players games and also it removes that limitation that LAN had like uh, only six people in the lobby at a time you no longer get something like that uh, so thanks to Funky Fresh for all these uh, cool things uh, and now we also have ladders working so if you are looking for some sort of competitive dune matches you can go and play a ladder match against someone so that's cool so let's see how are you going to set that up also as well we got this great uh, program called dune 2000 chat which is pretty much well if you ever used westwood chat then it's pretty similar to that so it will connect to the online server and you basically can talk from outside uh, Dune like this so you can check the player list you see right here on the right but we're gonna talk later about that let's go ahead and see how to get this great thing so even if you already have uh, Dune installed I you are going to need this so type this in it's gonna be in the description as well dune.cloudns.org and this is gonna redirect you to this uh, thing here and this is the dune 2000 online installer so I repeat even if you have dune already you gotta get this and don't worry it's only uh, 15 megabytes if you're not uh, installing music so let's do it down now and here we have it it's gonna take a few seconds so yeah that's gonna be about it this, uh, in this installer gives you two options install Hamaki which is a requirement unless you for you are going to forward some specific ports that I have no idea so you should ask Funky Fresh about which ports you should forward in order not to need Hamaki anymore. But without that, you are going to still need Hamaki to play it online. But we are using the internet server now. So enough with this. Let's go ahead and open the installer and see what it got. And close this shit here. alright cool so it's running now I guess we can close Chrome completely alright so obviously just put in a location where you want it to be installed I just put this here because I already have one and you click next and here this is um, kind of important so as you can see install Hamaki is already checked by default and it's required for online games so I don't know I really recommend to get this even if you have ports forwarded forwarded but anyway so I already have Hamaki so I'm gonna uncheck this obviously because I don't have I don't want it installed twice and the important thing about uh, this automatic install of Dune is that it automatic automatically holy shit uh, installs Hamaki and also it's gonna join the network that we are playing on uh, with, without you having to touch anything literally so 
from now on you no longer need to worry about installing this program called Hamaki which I know gives a lot of trouble to many people so no longer need that you just need to just check one thing and it's gonna do magic and talk about install music well if you think this it's going to download music from uh, our server so but if you have another installation on your computer you can just copy paste the music folder over I'm not gonna uh, check this because it's gonna take few I don't know one minute or half a minute to install and that's that's some waste of time because it's just a tutorial here so we're gonna click next you should probably install music because hey I don't know how could you play without click next and it's gonna install everything we need and also let's minimize this also it's going to launch a very cool thing that you're gonna see in a few seconds once it finishes and here we are we got a Dune 2k launcher it is not updated so click yes whenever you see this update uh, dialog window here you gotta click yes because there's some sort of update you can play online without that update and here we are this new improved uh, launcher version and let's talk about it very fast we got or maybe I should do that in another tutorial I don't know let's do it now so we got a play online button which means that it's gonna redirect you to and not really right. It's gonna just start a game, configure it to play on uh, the server. You don't have to worry about uh, the IP address because it's also updated. Just you know, if you have some problems with connecting to the server, you can check this if this one is the same as uh, right here. This uh, user here is the VPS, the server. So you gotta check if this is the same as here. You can choose a language as well and uh, yeah LAN lobby these are no longer used we no longer use a uh, network or LAN so plan line is going to launch dune and uh, configure it to be able to connect to the server and let's do, let's do it now it's gonna start in a few seconds and from there on we can go straight to internet right so there's no sound because I did not install music so if you did install music you're gonna hear the music and crap like that so you see there's no LAN button here and you do not need it anymore you go ahead to internet and right here you just put up whatever username you want and whatever password you don't need to register so please know this just type in a username like this user test and whatever password you want and you hit connect and it's automatically going to uh, register this uh, nickname you see so right now we are in we are on the server from now on you know you could just read this uh, message of the day here if you're having any problem go ahead and ask people who are uh, in yellow and uh, green these guys will definitely be able to help you as they are staff members this is the bot so you probably shouldn't ask him you know because he's not gonna answer probably ever and we're gonna talk about some other things you can do here you can even play with the bot with a specific command called gamble but that's not for a later video so from now on, let's see what features we got here we got the new which uh, basically allows you to create a game we got back which is going to uh, where you know you can just check out for our uh, channels but since they're no longer used obviously as Westwood died see these are channels from uh, PFP GN so anyway just go ahead game channels into Dune 2K lobbies and this is the channel we are playing on Elman and you see here the uh, list of users you can uh, select their names right here is gonna uh, send a private message to them like this and yeah Westwood online options you can choose this and uh, disable find or pages if you don't want people to 
private message you you see there are some features here you can play with them we have the ladder here uh, it's not redirecting you to uh, a website so far but we're working on it so it's gonna be working sometime soon same for the help button here is not going to redirect you to any kind of because Westwood links are dead but we are working on that so it's gonna redirect to something we are going to set up right here we you got the find page users which is very cool you can let's say um, you can private message someone who's in game let's say that DLA Fera underscore is going to be playing a game now so he's in game already he's kicking ass obviously and you can just type in a message here like hi and it is going to page that user so you, you hit page user uh... let me see well apparently it's not gonna work let's try to page data so w wait a second i don't think yep underscore is not working so we're just gonna uh, page mentored bot anyway underscore users are from uh, the chat program not uh, from uh, in game so they are not uh, gonna play so let's just try this guy this bot just say hi here and you see page was successful and if you were in game now you could respond to this by pressing F7 so if Mantabot was in game now he could press F7 and respond to this so you can talk with people in game like this which is very cool. You can also find the user. See, it found a uh, Mantabot. Told you in which channel he is, which is good. You got a kick and uh, ban buttons. Well, if you are owning a channel, obviously, you got the this uh, disable pages. You got the refresh button, which is very important. So, let's say someone would be hosting a game now. It will take about I don't know 30 seconds to for uh, Westwood Online to refresh itself. So whenever you see users disappearing from the list, they they probably join a, a game here. So click refresh, and this is going to refresh the game channels here. So you're gonna see their game, and you, you'll be you will be able to join easier. So I guess that's gonna be about. Oh yeah, you can uh, click the new button, and it gives you a few options here. It's a friendly game. You can. Uh, either host a private game or a public game private games uh, require a password to join that's the difference and uh, please ignore this uh, player bar because you can play six player ma games without having this to six it's a patch that funky fresh made and when you're, if you want to play a ladder match you're gonna click on this cup here and it's gonna turn into a tournament game which is uh, maxed out to two players so far it might work for four players in the future which that would be great but so far it's only uh, two players so let's do it this just has a public game and here you can select your house which is a lot more user friendly than on Hamaki where you had to leave a game to uh, change house and color you can do all this stuff from uh, inside this game can, and the rest are just uh, <clears throat> land options and practice options. You can choose the map from here, and yeah, all that kind of crap. All right, so this is gonna be about uh, this Westwood Online interface. You, to leave, you just click this. What leave Westwood Online? So let's talk very fast about the um, uh, chat. Yeah, let's talk about the chat, which is very cool. Or maybe not. Let's let's do that in our video because this is already kind of long, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, 40 minutes. That's too much. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the R launcher features in the next tutorial. So stay tuned. Bye.